thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel well I'm completing some work here as you can see here I wanted to remind you not to put your trust in the manifestations because that is a trap the enemy uses to bring people in the negative and to keep them there this is what I mean we have a situation going on and this, that situation has some bad effect upon you it either stresses you out or it burdens you for something with the situation now you want something done about the situation that's understandable there's something wrong with that, that mindset but often people don't look beyond the situation they only see the situation they have re a reaction against the situation and now they're all into that reaction to get a solution they don't evaluate the situation to see whether the situation is a trap because this also happens sometimes the enemy through other people causes some contention around you in order to lure you in the negative because the enemy knows that you will want to fix it and here's the thing the enemy causes the situation and through some other people nearby he comes with a solution but the solution the enemy will offer you is to keep you in the negative because the enemy had that outcome to keep you in the negative a long time ago but he just came with a situation to cause a reaction to you in order to give you a solution to keep to get you where he wants you to be so whatever situation is going on around you look beyond it that's why Christ said to speak to the mountain he did not say speak to the tree even though it's also possible but effectively speaking you get what I'm saying here speak to the mountain a mountain is the bigger picture a mountain is a big physical a natural it's a huge natural construct that covers big land masses so in order to address a mountain you need to look in through the whole environment and a mountain is something that covers quite some territory and it, it, it covers quite some nature quite some trees rivers that's in a natural literal sense but Christ used the phrase to speak to the Christ taught us to speak to the mountain in order to teach us to look beyond way too often we react and we get solutions but those solutions have fatal long-term consequences we don't foresee all right let me give an example to you a very quick one and then I'll continue work here let's say that you have some you okay I use this example often okay I'm going to use it anyway you have some youths some some young men in a community that have, that form gangs and they are causing noise and from time to time they break into stores so it's criminality is a real thing going on and people are bothered by it then there's one politician that says you know what let me put more police on the streets in order to be more tough on those those guys then there's another politician who has 40 years experience on both the national international as on the as the local level and this politician tells them no 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 the older politician tells the younger mm -mm, don't do that the younger says sir I know you have four years experience but this is 2018 now this is a new time things need to go different today things are not the way it were when you were young the elder man tells the younger young man listen to me don't do that it will escalate and then the younger politician asks okay what why shouldn't we be hard on those the young young street thugs over there then the elder one says who feeds those young men the young politician said well they have their jobs or but then the older politician said but you just said they're street thugs so how can they have jobs then the young said yeah well some have jobs other are on welfare or they have relatives or they have their support groups then the old one asked which support groups those gangs then the old one said oh so those gangs they have are support groups why do they need support groups in such a manner 
and the young politician said, uh, well, then the older one said, those young men, I'm not approving their lifestyle, but they are parts of society that are neglected and they are trying to survive. That's why they form those gangs now. It escalates and something should be done about it. I agree with that, but you're not dealing with the root of the issue. If you deal with them harshly, you will breed resentment amongst them. And remember, those young men have brothers, sisters, they have friends, they have influence. So, and they have... Oh, there's noise there, but okay, I'll continue. Those young men, they have become role models for, for others. So if you treat them harshly, those that perceive them as role model, models are going to become embittered against authorities. And what will happen then is that the accusations in, upon which those street talks operated will be validated by you treating them harshly. And then that movement will grow. Even if there are no street gangs on the streets anymore, that resentment will, re will remain among the population and that will express itself in other ways. So you will be masking the situation by removing those guys from the street and treating them harshly. It's like when someone has a fatal cancer, you give them some medicines so that they, their bodies can function well. The skin becomes smooth. What happens is you mask the issue by removing some symptoms, but the infection is still there, it's still growing. Okay, that was a long example, but I want to give the long example to teach you something here. Don't just look at a situation based upon your own understanding. Don't look at a situation based upon your conditioning. Look at things in their entirety. Look at the bigger picture. Do that. It, because it is because people are often short-sighted that the enemy traps them. And how does the enemy trap people in their short-sightedness? By coming with instant manifestations or gradual manifestations. Those are not instant but they're gradual. Whether a manifestation is instant or gradual, just because the manifestation solves, so-called solves, or deals with an issue directly and there's some relief coming from it or there's some improvement, that doesn't mean it's from the Most High. That doesn't mean it's from Christ. The enemy often blinds and traps people with so-called solutions. So don't live your life chasing manifestations. I agree with Christ, walk by faith, and no matter what, keep on going. Operate in a confident expectation of good because you expect life. You are in agreement with Christ, okay? Well, that's it for now. I agree with Christ. Get peace.